Levin, this has been a hotly debated issue in school districts really all over the country right now. Should kids in school learn about gender identity? And tonight in West Hartford, some parents push back against that idea. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio has been there all evening. And Patricia, what are those moms and dads saying tonight? Well, they had a lot to say about it. As you say, this is a very hot button issue. Now, this involves something called social and emotional learning. The district added a new component to it this past uh, fall, and basically it includes the concept of gender identity. Some parents feel that kids are just too young. This is too complex an idea, but others feel that this teaches respect and kindness and understanding from a young age. It is the administration before me that is closed-minded, singularly focused on tolerance to such a degree that you cannot see the harm and inappropriateness of the curriculum for young kids. Tonight at the Board of Education meeting in West Hartford, parents speaking out about the district's social and emotional learning programs, inclusion of instruction about gender identity. Some arguing the ideas are too complex for young children to understand. No kindergartner is lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer. No kindergartner is heterosexual. They do not have the required hormonal or brain development or sexual inclination. Others saying it encroaches on parents' rights to be able to teach these ideas to kids themselves. Parents have the right to impart values to their children, not the government. Storybooks that teach five, six, and seven-year-old children that they can change from a boy to a girl or that their sex is assigned or perhaps misassigned at birth is contended material. But other parents argue the program offers a message of kindness and tolerance. The social justice curriculum just teaches people to treat each other with respect and to talk about our differences with love so that we can understand each other. It gives kids a language to discuss the things they notice are different and to be able to communicate with each other and understand each other. Other parents in support say it provides a message of support for those who feel different and it can stop bullying before it starts. Learning about the identities of people in our community helps us to understand the world in which we live. This benefits all students. It makes more well-rounded students who are prepared to be members of a broad and diverse community. Now, tonight's vote was not up or down about this curriculum. This was actually a budget vote that did pass, by the way. The reason that many of these parents brought this up in public comment is because school funds, of course, are used to buy things like storybooks, some of uh, which these parents don't agree with. Uh, but again, the budget did pass, and this topic is a nationwide one that will certainly continue forward. We're live in West Hartford. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 eyewitness news. It is something people talk about for sure. Patricia, thank you very much.